What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Moving on to the next question. We have a function st equals 2t cubed plus 3t squared all to the power of a half. And that represents the displacement s in meters of a particle after t seconds. And we have to determine its velocity when t is equal to 3 or at 3 seconds. So we know that if we have a displacement, function, let's just rewrite this, so t, 2t cubed plus 3t squared to the power of a half, we know that its derivative is going to be the velocity function. So we can find the derivative of this function and then have a velocity function, then we can just plug in a t value of 3 in the velocity function to determine the instantaneous velocity at 3 seconds. So to find the derivative of this function, notice we're gonna to have to apply the chain rule. So we would take the derivative of the outer function first, so bring the one half down. Function inside the bracket stays the same. And then subtract one from the exponent. And then we have to take the derivative of the inside function. So bringing the three down, we have six t squared plus six t. And then what we can do to make this look a little nicer, notice how this exponent is a negative. So we can have this in the, uh, in the numerator rather, and then we'd have two, and then this would be two t cubed plus three t squared to the power of a positive, a half. So this is our function vt, and we can actually get rid of this 2 here because we could factor out a 2 from the top, and then the 2s would cancel out. And if we factor out a 2 from the top, we would have 3 over here and 3 over here. And now all we have to do to find the velocity at 3 seconds is we have to find v of 3. So we would just plug in 3 for all of the t values in this function for velocity. And when you do all of this in your calculator, at the top you would end up getting 36, and then this bracket here would be 81, and then 81 to the power of a half is nine, 36 over nine is four. And then the units, are what? It's meters per second because that's what the displacement function. The displacement function was meters in terms of seconds, so we know that the velocity is going to be meters per second. So that there is your final answer.